Hey everyone! So recently the Minecraft Java Edition Mechanis server invited us to a tour of the server, so a few of us exploit members decided to join them, and well, here are some highlights of that tour, so enjoy! Okay, so I want, uh, I want to welcome you to our tour. Uh, before we start, I want to tell you that there is a slash cs command, and if you use that command, it's gonna put in spectator. And once you use it again, it's gonna teleport you back where you were in survival. So if you wanna watch something, you can use it. Or if you get stuck, you can just tell me and we can teleport you. All right. So this is our spawn. And this spawn was designed by Dixon, which was uh, <laughs> which was uh, inspired by Lover. And this spawn is right now in our spawn perimeter, which is by, is, which is, by 1500 by 1500 blocks and also with in this perimeter we have a furnace array and a storage and uh alu recently finished four quadrants of it so there is a bad bot now that we use to skip the nights so right now we are in netherhub and this netherhub was built by orchestra uh, not built but designed and here we have all of the stations for piston bolts and we also have tunnels to the storage and all other stuff and the storage is somewhere we're gonna go now that is also on the south so we have recently made a new storage uh, which was designed by me and alu i did the deco and alu worked on a lot of the logic and redstone so on our side, uh, on the north side, there is a bulk, a uh, bulk hull, and here we store all of the items that we have. We will have more than a few shulkers. There should be about 90 items, item types right now. And I think that each slice can hold around uh, almost a million, I think, a million items. That's nice. Wow, a million arms, that's a lot. Yeah. So on the east side, there is a chest hall. And uh, this is also a big change because now we have three or six chests per slice. And what is really nice about this storage is that we lock only, we don't lock only two hoppers per half per half the slice. So it's pretty lag friendly, or at least better than what we had last time. And on the west side, we have our two small crafters and one big crafter. Uh, the speed of the big crafter should be about 144k, I believe, per hour. Uh, it uses a mod by Masa to automatically craft uh, and very fast. And then, uh, then on the other side of the crafter, there is a map room and here we store our map art. So if you want to see some of them, you can you can have a look. <laughs> Spawn proof your shit. I like that one. I will not be touring the map room again this time. <laughs> watch my other video. And if Al wants to say something about it. You really need to go into third person to really appreciate this. So I'm going to jump into third person. So I believe this is 4032 furnaces. Yeah. Elvin knows more about this, so if he wants to. Yeah, but I hey. mean, not not much more else to it. It we made it so that there is four separate cores that are all uh, self-sufficient and they have their own chunk loader, so we don't have to load the whole monstrosity every time we smelt. So if you only put items into one. One core we only load one fourth of the furnace array at a time, which is kind of helpful when it's this this big. So here we just have the inputs for the for the items and outputs in the middle, and also we have our redstone lamps to show the status of the chunk, chunk loaders, I believe. The glass was too clear. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's very early for you guys, especially to watch one of my streams. Do we take the piston bolt? Okay, guys. Yep. Uh, yeah, take the yep. piston bolt. Wait a right. 
You just have to click it. It's fully automatic. So it's behind this portal. If you go on the opposite side. It's gonna work if Rufus can make it. How many blocks so per second are the piston balls? Uh, 20, I think. The straight ones are 20. Okay. Yeah. And the diagonal? No, 30. Uh, 29, something like that. No, oh, okay. 31? I don't know. Yeah. I think it's 28. Yeah. 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 More on that. Go into minecart, little guy. Yep. Oh wow, I'm getting pretty heavy. Oh, okay, I see why yeah. now. <laughs> you, <laughs> I was wondering why I was uh, dropping frames. So farm, it yields about 690k XP per hour. Uh, note we just we can absorb that many XP just because of carpet mod. Uh, it allows us uh, to absorb XP instantly. So if you go in CS, you can look uh, outside of the building. There is many portals. So we are using. Overworld pigmen to get the spawns even when the mob cap is full. So the mob switch is on. How much obsidian did this uh, need? Uh, um, insane. I believe it was 1%. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It still has some issues like snow golem skip dying and some. Some pigmen escape the places they should be, so we get some XP stuck all around the system. But it's really hard to fix it because it's so goddamn laggy. Yeah. Right. I've been actually studying right now around 30 when I woke up. Basically, every time we restart the server and load this area for uh, the first time, we get like. 80 ms. It's crazy. <laughs> oh, and you can probably head back. Um, just the same way back as in. So just go into the minecart. XP can literally push mobs around. Like you can literally be moved by XP. It's so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, that doesn't sound that good. Okay, let's go back. I would be lying if I said that the piston bolts don't feel slow to me. Aren't they like twice as fast on bedrock? I, th I think it's like true. the fastest are around, well not the fastest, but the fastest convenient ones are around 30 bucks per second. A little less because chunk, actually chunk boards are a very big issue in bedrock. But we don't talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so follow me to the... I think it's in the northwest, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Is it Mechanist, Trademark, Light Suppressed? Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's the trademark? TM. I mean, that's your... Yeah. I only see you guys doing that, and I think it's pretty cool. I hope I got in the right minecart. Yep. Just get on, and uh, you'll be... This yeah, is yeah. TNT losing, uh, looting, is it not? Yeah, so yeah. we are using TNT looting here. It's, it's by, I believe, what was his name? Well, it's by Rhythm from Hammer, but we modified it a lot. Uh, so it works on new versions, because in 1.16 they changed how lava works with mobs and entities. So in 16 it... Entity uh, lava can push entities, oh, and right. the arrow was getting messed up. So basically, we have a bot that places the TNT, and also the bot has a arrow on the falling sand or falling concrete there. And because there is a block 36, like a moving piston, it is invisible. The this, the concrete never falls down, and the TNT is still flying. So it resets the delay uh, of like deleting itself. Oh right, okay. And then there is a dispenser with lava bucket that is on clock and it just puts the uh, arrow on fire. This is their version of a trident killer. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, so yeah, it, you know, it gives loading, so it's more than doubles at the, oh. the rate. I fell down so hard. We can go down here to see like the act, the actual killing area. Yeah, there's a um, map of the carpet, so it's kind of sneaky, but it also is not. I mean, no way we could ever afford this much TNT, but it's still pretty crazy. <laughs> with our um, with our soul sands to sands melting addition on exploit, we could probably afford it. Yeah, okay, um, with the proper barter system. We can go up again with the minecart. Let's go to the overworld side now. I went down. Then. To see how it looks. Oh, um, Mr. Bob switch on. Yeah. Oh, the clouds are annoying. Clouds off. There you go. Much better. Um, press shift. Yeah. And let me go down there. Where's the up uh, at? I don't... Yeah, it's here. Up here. If you look all the oh, way up. I see. Okay. Okay. So That's if you find down here, uh, we have four witch huts. And all of them are light suppressed. If... Anyone wants to get explain how light suppression works? Uh, sure, sure. Okay, so uh, in 1.15, uh, the game moved all the light uh, to a different thread. So, for example, when you place a light source, uh, all the lightning in the surrounding blocks uh, it's in it's calculated uh, in a secondary thread so it is possible to lag that th that thread behind uh, with a, a lot of updates and uh, we can for ex for example place um, a roof then light su suppress, remove it, and the floor will not have any lights. Um, so in here, we placed a uh, update su suppressed light suppress uh, nether portals. So the light inside is is absolutely zero so the mobs uh can can uh spawn directly inside the portal that's basically so, what's what's happening here that one i uh, need to find the field called farm is here yep in the penguin okay I'm lagging behind a little bit, so if you can, yeah, take the western board. This one is long-ish. I mean, it's like how many blocks? Like at the end of the western board, the, the, the ice circle, and in front of you, you can see um, we are breaking the nether roof with a network breaker. The network breaker is not running right now because I was. Oh, it's maybe running. I mean, I mean it's. It's oh. partially running. It's more okay. Oh, but some bits. I was. I was lazy to turn it off for the backup. So oh wait, I think. Right um, I saw that in what's his name. In someone's video, I think. Kate Ender. I don't think it was Kate Ender's. Desktop. I mean, just video. I think there's made some video. She made the machine, so. Yeah. Desktop folder has made a. Uh, oh yeah, it was it was desktop yeah. folder. Yeah. So in here is broken because we made a backup like with the machine running, but uh, on SMP uh, uh, is working. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> how do you so, how do you use to break bedrock? 
the ones interested how we breaking bedrock in the later versions, we are using piston headless pistons. So when the piston extends, uh, we blow up a TNT on a slab in the in the same uh, time. And because the TNT or the piston head will have blast resistance zero, it's gonna blow up. But the piston or the piston itself is gonna stay there. And then every anything that you put in front of that piston, and then you update the piston or power it, uh, then it's gonna delete anything that's in front of it. So barrier blocks, bedrocks, uh, command blocks, anything. And that's how modern bedrock breaking works. I see. Nice. Yeah. So we are run we were running our rate farm for a long time, and Cuber tried to maintain it. They would never yeah. invite me to their real server because I would obviously break their piston bolt. Uh, that was my bad. Yeah, I feel like everyone else found, found it here. Okay. Uh, so this is our gold farm. It's not really interesting, but uh, this is one chunk of uh, Y0 broken bedrock, and there is a port. There are portals, and it should produce about two hundred thousand gold nuggets per hour. Um, we could go further, but this produces a, uh, this does a lot about 10 MSPD. So we chose to do something smaller, but something that we can run while other play people are playing. And next to it, this big machine, um, this is our storage. And we also have a crafter here. So because uh, one of our members, Andrew, uh, made a kind of tweak to the mod that we use for uh, crafting fast, we can AFK craft now, and so we wouldn't have to. But we didn't want to uh, AFK twice as much as we AFK for the gold farm. We can AFK and craft uh, at the same time oh. while the farm is running. Oh. This is our uh, gold farm perimeter. Uh, that's the roadside. We have another TNT loading here, so the the pigments spawn all the way down there, and when they die. Uh, they connect the items and the XP gets teleported back to the nether side to sort the XP uh, or so kill the XP and sort the items. So there is another uh, suppressed portal down there. Oh, and right. this deco was a little bit break right there. Check out these incredible perimeters. That's some of the, most, so, the best stuff in this whole server is the perimeter board. How many piglins are in this um, nice. buttering system? Sixty. Yeah, it should be a sixty. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So. And it's, you're uh, something we need to follow. You're um, using yeah. um, glass yeah, elevators yeah, to that. supply the gold, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just classic item elevators. Looks pretty nice. And how do the uh, drops get collected? That the piglins uh, give? Do they also float up? Yeah, yeah. they. Yeah, they're heavy the into the portals, right? Yeah. That's a really smart system. And the portal in front of you is the portal that's gonna take you to the end. Well, oh, it takes you to the overall. Wow, that's a lot of signs here. Don't disregard villager yeah. lies here. Well, apparently they all say milk, something about milk. You can go through the gateway. <coughs> It's, it has a delay, so okay, it takes a while. Oh, I'll be here. Okay. So this villager hall was uh, designed by me and Alu, and the deco was by Alu, um, Osteos, which is also a member, and then Chobo, which is no longer a member of the server. And uh, when we redid completely our old villager hall that was probably in uh, Master that old guy had, and the reason was that our old villager hall was kind of not working properly, so villagers sometimes died and many stuff didn't work. So here, uh, if you go to the west side of the villager hall, inside of it, uh, there is a control room and we have four buttons here. And there is, they are all signed, so you can read what they, what they do. But uh, the fourth button to kill a villager is a little bit special, so we have we have a safety for that because we didn't want people accidentally killing the villagers. So with Alu, yep, uh, with Alu we made a room 
that yeah, it's gonna close. Just gonna destroy that. I glitched through the floor or something. Did you? I'm downstairs somehow. Oh, okay. Uh, go through the portal and then back. And then go back, yeah. And that's a really nice addition, or not addition, a little bug. And that means uh, if you go through a gateway while you have opened TUI of the villager, uh, and you unload the other side of the, or like or you unload the side where the villager is, you can trade with the villager infinitely, because um, the villager is not going to remember that you traded with him, so he's not going to make the prices higher, and he's not going to lock. Uh, so we have this button, convert to zombie, that is right next to the kill villager sign. Okay. And it's gonna send him down here where the drones are. And the drones are gonna kill him or convert him and then he's gonna come back with a uh, weakness potion and a uh, golden, golden apple. So huh. I send him there. I only see one drone. Oh, uh, I don't know where it's going Yep. So there were at least five drones before and uh, fishes, but the fish were going inside of the way of the drowned, so they got killed by, by the trident. Yeah, so they didn't like they to... each other, so they they yeah, kind of killed. We don't have the golden one. apple. We want to feed the villager. Rufus, Rufus, you have the golden apple in your inventory. Yeah. Give it to the villager. Uh, right click, right. Feed him. Yep. Yeah, so the zombie villager got potion of weakness down there, and we dispensed or we dropped the go golden apple into the drop shit here. Uh, so here we do all the boat trading. Uh, we stay in this water stream and open the TUI, and then it's gonna push up a little bit up. We're gonna go on the slab, and oh, okay. And oh, uh, uh, can you yeah. turn the thing, the lamp? Yeah, so what we have here is uh, this little lever and that kind of manipulates where you're gonna spawn when you go through the gateway. So what, yeah, someone, I don't know why that is there. Oh. Yeah, uh, so because we have a, like this uh, lever is gonna power a piston on top and when the piston is extended, it doesn't count it as a full block, and because gateways look for a full block that you, that they can spawn you on, it's gonna spawn you on a full block that is down here. So if you're both trading, you're gonna get spawned in the water stream, and if you're not, you're gonna press the lever and you're gonna spawn up there in the trading hall. So ah, okay. it's a, also a little nice elevator. So yeah, uh, if you go to the uh, to the slime on the, on the roof or tree, what it's forty one, and drop down here, it's the entrance for the your side. So we designed this with Alu, me and Alu. Um, we have all the goodies here. Uh, so we have a big storage here that uh, also locks the hoppers. And in the middle here, um, when the farm starts, uh, it's gonna start running slime. Kill all of them. Should be on. Yeah. Can you? Right. I don't remember this speed. Well, slimes Wait, are under a friendly creature sounds. I did not know that. Yeah, uh, so there's a chain block that kills all, all the big slimes at uh, the first stage, and then there is uh, fence gates that kill most of the medium slime, and at the bottom there is magma blocks that uh, kill rest of the small and medium slimes that make their way through. Interesting. Magma blocks and also... Um, also... Entity creaming. Creaming. Uh, we have 21 tanks in the overworld. Oh, that's nice. I guess um, uh, it was one of the yearliest pro projects, I believe. So... It's not, it's not really fancy on the overworld side, but it's good enough. This should be the portal to the overworld, right? Yeah. I bet I could throw this place a thousand times and not worry where I am. 
<laughs> yeah, but if you go down this drop shoot, you should fall into the water. Please. So this farm work, uh, because the slimes, when they spawn, they only wander in one direction. They don't pathfind on anything. So they either will get they either will get aggroed on the golems, or they will just wander inside the portals. That's I mean, basically every how. every farm has a okay. cap perimeter. And there should be 21 checks if someone wants to count it. But you don't have to. How old is this server? Uh, it's for, it's 11 months now. And like, it's if you're gonna celebrate one year, uh, this month. Wow. Come with me to the portal. We can probably light suppress this sh this shark. Don't need to. Definitely no one uh, scan that QR code right there. God knows where it takes you. So, uh, this is the perimeter. Uh, the map part is of Bruce shark from we, Finding Nemo. Yeah, or, or in Java, but if you follow Rufus Staticus on uh, YouTube and he gets to a thousand subscribers, he will show us how to build on the nether roof. Check out this perimeter. I'm gonna fly up just so you guys get the full well, If you want to see how it looks, uh, you can fly up and look, or you can use spectator also. Oh, that's and right. spectator mode. While you're flying on the okay. north side, there is the farm. It's it's using portals again. Uh, so there is there are columns of water where the squid spawns, and when it wanders, it should teleport to to the other side. So was this perimeter dug by hand, or did you like bomb out uh, and then smoothen the edges? The square. the square was bombed out, and then the rest was either digged or bombed out too. Okay. But if not a world okay. eater. That's it. This is the first one, and so we, so, if, so to have two more caps, you can put another one here. Top of the floor, part of the map. It's not gonna be as bad. Since we don't have to care about fish. So, I think this uh, whole thing uh, was done in a week. Yeah, <laughs> it was a week. Oh, the oh, perimeter, yeah. the pixel art, the decoration, the farm, everything. It's crazy how fast you can just go from start to finish for a project like this. It's also stuffed dolphins. Oh, that's fishy. Oh, yeah. Ha ha ha. Okay, I'm not funny. Oh, what the <laughs> If you go in spectator, uh, below us there is a storage. And the collection. Didn't mean to send it again. Alright. Yeah. Um. <laughs> wow. Oh, uh, okay, are you in the nether? Can't hear old guy. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, okay. I'm still looking at the uh, map part. I'm trying to turn my render distance up. I have to see it. Oh, uh, sorry. Did you by a accidentally sent a message again? I mean, so I have no do idea have, what the red. Do you have ghost portals on um, Java? Oh, we don't call them ghost portals. It's usually just update suppressed portal. No, I mean, um, like, there's no portal there at all, but the game thinks there's an exit. We can't do that have, anymore. We, we have, can't. but it was fixed in 16. Yes, in 16.3, uh, they changed the linking, or the way the portals link. And in 15, you could have uh, just a portal POI, so, the, so a portal where there is no portal. But in 16.3, it checks if there is any portal block, and if there is not, it's a link. Unfortunately, uh, that's just anymore. The numbers for these are up to 140k on three moth caps, but um, that was in 15, so... 
Yeah, it's it, it's considerably slower. You can see that it's the rates are are actually really bad compared yep. to what they used to be. To be way, still, way faster. He built a squid farm in a specific biome. Uh, yeah, um, there are different rates for different biomes. But so biome is the best by just pure rates, but we have ours in warm ocean, which is the second best, and we could build a way bigger farm. So it was it was what we went with. I think they spawn in all ocean biomes, but warm is warm is by far the fastest. Okay, so I killed the bot, so there shouldn't be any spawning anymore. And we should Are you be using to... yeah. bots that run on the same server to load these things. Oh, yes, yeah, so yeah. we are using Carp mod, which has those bots, and they run on the server. Um, so we should go to the honey farm now. So if you take this minecart, it's gonna take you to the honey farm, or at least close to the honey farm. This is gonna be one of the longer piston bolts, or probably the longest. It also takes a lot of time just because the, most of the piston bolts are straight and not diagonal. Are these piston bolts placed by hand, or do you use some sort of um, pusher to sort of fly um, through any of it? So the rails, the rails and the pistons and the blocks that get powered can be automated. But I believe the rails have to be placed by hand. Oh, the rails have to be placed by hand, and the uh, carpets and the uh, repeaters too. Yep. But. I we think have a that... yeah. machine that um, um, curves the rails automatically, so I think we have to place everything by hand and a machine moves everything into place. I think we never actually use that one in survival. I think we place everything by hand and we use flying machine to curve the rails but uh, yeah so we don't really use those machines but they exist uh with tikaru uh, another mod you can place most of those blocks are pretty automatically like there is the fast placement mode or the flash placement mode that can place every other block so that's what we also usually use for this oh, but nice. the rail automated do I just get in the other my card, which says a uh, honey farm when I arrive at the uh, end, or? Yeah. You can, but I'm uh, waiting for everyone. All right. I think so, Dex is, I don't know, he's lag or slow or something, because I always catch him. I always catch him whenever <laughs> he's doing you. Know. And he bumped my mine card off the track. To the, to the west here, I bet. No, this is, a, this is a bee farm, or the honey farm by Dender, and... It, I'm not sure how it how much it produces anymore, if anyone remembers. But there should be there should be around 700 bee nests in there. Beehives. And there is also bee beehives. That's much better. There is also storage next to it, and also a crafter, so we don't have to move the the honey bottles, but we can craft them here. And also, um, this whole farm is loaded by one chunk loader, which is uh, down here, I believe. Yeah. You said 700 bee nests, bee hubs? Uh, yeah, something around that. I don't really remember exactly. It's, it's been a while. That is a lot of bee hubs. The latest story. Yep. Uh, so, this is a big hexagon, and uh, it's about 8 million blocks and it was completely hand dug in 22 days nice how many wow. people have worked on it uh probably around 10 or 12 i'd say wow. but, uh, that's a lot of dedication we had like three or four who 
Vag over a million blocks in here each. Um, Philo, Cutie, I think IDMC as well, TK and me. And yeah, so people that were actually else. active in the digging here was way less than 12. You guys have yeah. so much time. We're constantly busy. We can hardly play on our server. <laughs> Don't need to get girlfriends, oh. just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, that's Ooh, mean. I'm just playing. I'm, just playing. <laughs> I'm totally playing. I mean, most of most of people here don't even have a job. It's mostly like students. And since the Corona thing happened, it's you kind of can uh, you kind of have more time usually or hand. Right. I think old guys that's just our... looking for a partner. Yeah, you says <laughs> in the side. So taking applications. Alu has 5.5 <laughs> millions. Elvar and uh, Philo ha have like over 3 millions. And uh, then we have like 3 or 4 with 2 point something. And uh, yeah, it's in the middle, right? Yeah. Uh, sure. yeah. Well, that's a lot of huh? colors. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, oh uh, I see. Oh, yeah, right. I saw yeah, this before. This is nice. Yeah, you can see yeah, this the map on the map. Yeah, it's a map of the perimeter. And this uh, pixel art, it's a, it's a fractal. So yeah. fractals are yeah. repeated, uh, like infinitely repeatable patterns if you zoom in. And this is one of them. And behind the map art, there is the, there's the garden farm. It uses portal once again. So this. So they spawn at like a random spot within the box. Is that how the game does yep. it? That's that's how they spawn you. Yeah. And they also check uh, if on top of the spawning spot is there is a block. So if there is a block, it has ninety five percent of spawn chance. But if it's if there is no solid block, there it's only five percent. So that's because that's... it checks if the garden is spawning inside the table or. Temple or, or outside. Oh, it's similar in Bedrock. Yeah. We have something. Yeah, in, so that yeah. was copied over to Bedrock. But it's it makes it's kind of. Bedrock. Yeah, that's probably the only same thing. Because they don't spawn in the um, Guardian Temple. Oh no, so, I got myself yeah. stuck. Oh, okay, so now it's kind of um, I hope it's in Dark Mode. So if, if you go into the spectator, just slash CS. And you go outside of the structure, you can see a lot of the Guardian falling down. I have actually 50 FPS, so I'm fine. Mr. New PC? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's running fine-ish for me when I'm at the top, I get like 90, but when I get down, hold on. <laughs> what part of the screen am I looking for? I'm for a second. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah. Their death animations are. That's what I can see that takes my FPS down. I get more like yeah, so they take, 15 they take FPS when I look at the kill chamber. Just wondering, how um, active are you guys usually on the server? So, how many people play every week? Um, it really depends. Uh, right now, because everyone seems to have finals and everything, it's not as much. But in a normal, like, nor when nothing's extra happening, it's probably two to four people a day on the server. Oh, that, yeah. that's pretty active. During events, we have like 10 During... 15 people, but... During events, that's a whole other story. Um, if you go along me behind to the back here, we have a um, portal for special occasions, so you can take this one, come through. Well, we have oh, okay, yeah, oh, I see. Ow, ow, what's happening? Oh, so that's a uh, cramming. I don't know, you can oh, yeah, get into it. A little bit scuffed because it's update suppressed to the top, so you. Oh, yes, okay. okay. So yeah, uh, this is 
uh, C-130 Hercules airplane that uh, Pete Cooper stole from some Minecraft website. <laughs> here. And at, um, if the we name of the plane, it, okay. this, is, it now. <laughs> this is uh, the drop lane used in PUBG's first map. And if you drop down, you can see we have um, multi power power plant from PUBG Erangelma down here that we use as a decoration for the piston factory. Oh wow, that's really nice. I really like the look of this. If you play PUBG, you can recognize it. And the uh, cooling towers are farms for the piston factory, so we uh, farm cobblestone and spruce on site because those we need shit ton of and don't want to transport. And then we transport uh, redstone and iron for uh, from iron farm and uh, red farm. Yeah, so this is the main crafting system. We have storage for sulker boxes of each item needed in the recipe. Uh, and there is about 12 hours worth of materials held in the storage silos. And it can craft 432,000 pistons every hour. Of course, farms can't keep up with that, but we AFK the farms first, and then once we have enough material to have decent AFK session, we can craft pistons. And as you can see, it's kind of really laggy. Yeah, I'm, I'm dropping frames a lot. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of entities going on. And all the packets sending sent to the server. But yeah, Kiver, if you go with the spectator. Oh, okay, wow. Yeah. Now I see why it's... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't I see that right before. I That's crazy. Stop. I, can stop. I can stop. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. No, no, it's okay. My frames are okay, but... Wow, this is cool. <laughs> it gets kinda laggy here. I already turned it off, so... Yeah, it's fine. Oh, this is really yeah, nice. This is our item farm. I think it's 16k an hour per per. Uh, yeah, there are per two community. modules, and one of and each module does 16k per hour. Each module. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's it's like a module, but the tower. It's actually 17k. Um, Testing it on single player, I want to make a world download because people keep asking iron farms on the subreddit. So, so yeah, yeah, it's so seventeen thousand per tower. I, I mean, if people want iron farms, farms, they should get an old guy's channel. <laughs> and what's really nice, at least what I observed, was like it does only eight or ten MSPD. Why can I not land? So. Yeah, we are using portals. Uh, basically, uh, we have a villager guy in the middle that doesn't have a crossbow, so he can shoot the, uh, the villagers. And when he scares them, the uh, the iron uh, iron golems are spawned in the portals uh, synchronizing. Uh, like they are synchronized, he spawn and then he go to the nether where we kill them. And with that, it's probably the Max efficiency you can get because you get ready, you get rid of the okay, iron golems the quickest. That only one of the towers is running at the moment. That's kind of an issue, at least in Java with iron farms. That if you if you unloaded it at the wrong time, like just before night, and then started it. Just after night, there will be a like, period that it won't produce any iron columns before the uh, villagers can sleep again. That's the same way with ours. Ours, when, when you guys had the, the requirement for them to work removed, my god, look at all those columns. 
Yeah, so if I can show you the light depressor if you want to. So if you go if you go with me, there's a portal with uh, white glass around it. Because we have well, you have more time than I thought you're gonna have. Yeah, and there is also white beacon going out of it. Oh yeah, the famous white perimeter. Oh, this is really cool. <laughs> took a lot of time for sure yeah so in this perimeter we usually just throw stuff that we don't want to have that we don't want to make perimeter for but it's just too ugly so we have a fungus farm there and two concrete converters for some reason too and there is a light suppressor uh, the long white line on the east side and that's basically what we use uh, for our light suppression. So there is a bunch of uh, sea lanterns that get moved. And when they get moved, they make light updates and also they make some extra, uh, unlike the other uh, other blocks. So they make light updates because they are light sources. So we run it for a while. And uh, after quite some time, we start to break blocks or light sources that we need to uh, in the farms. Oh yeah, it's quite heavy on the FPS. Um, and after we break everything we need, we crash the server and the light updates will never get updated. So in front of the portal there is a, there are maps and we have uh, different flags in, on the map so you can see what where is what. Well, I've seen this. This is the pumpkin melon farm, right? Right. On top, there is a uh, pumpkin melon farm with flying Yeah, fishing. a cactus and a sure can Yeah, I've been here. I've seen this. Yeah. Good stuff. Oh, the Venus farm. That big orange one is. Of course. How oh, could right. one forget the Venus farm? Man, is it named it like this? Name like that? Okay. <laughs> I do my yeah. best to forget the Venus. Yeah. So, uh, on your left, on west side, there is a big cactus structure. And that's our cactus farm. Uh, believe that your action uh, designed this and it should do around 33k uh, cactus per hour. And right next I don't to know it, what there you do with that much cactus. Huh? We don't. Flakes. You should be like flakes. Eat the cactus. We don't use it, we just have it. What do you mean you don't eat the cactus? I mean, do you? Yes, of course. All the time. Yeah, it's like it's mostly water, dude. <laughs> I drink the cactus. Put it in the blender. Hey, Sorry. I mean, I I live in the desert, so cactus is great. Yeah, of course. Water, right Stand next up. to it, there is a big pumpkin walls, and there and here we have our uh, pumpkin melon farm. Uh, it uses flank machines, and I feel like this farm was designed by Mango, or at least yeah, he showed it. Oh, uh, it's not the most you likely. Mega, you mean like the Java Navy Nexus? Stop yeah. it! <laughs> I get these comments too much. I don't. I don't mean to criticize you guys, but there's only two walls of, out of four here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, uh, yeah. So probably hasn't any more walls than it had the last tour. Yeah, I, I don't. I think it has. I think it only had one wall last time. I mean, maybe yeah, you should sure. construct a um a pumpkin farm so you could complete the walls. Yeah. This is this is one of the laggier ways to farm farm melons and pumpkins, but it works. I mean, there are laggier ways with like weathers and. Okay. Um, also, um, next to the cactus on the other side, on uh, the south side, there is our sugar cane farm. I'm not sure if it's broken at the moment because it gets broken a lot. Be careful but over there, because I think that's where the beans is. Be working, I think. Yeah, but I'm not gonna start it. Um, it's basically it's, it's broken. Uh, no, the beans is right over here, dude. By the uh, dark oak forest. Yeah. So if you go the even further, uh, there is this is a... there's no tea in beans. Uh, it's just beans. Right here. Mm -hmm. it's, it's right here. It's made out of like honey and slime. So the honey slime beans. Oh. Uh, yeah, that I think like this is farm. kind of a modified old mango's uh, Venus farm. So this is this was Henda, and it's in the shape of a tear. Oh, this is a good looking. This is a good looking perimeter. Nice. Um, 
like how Trident farm works in Java is that we take, or at least we, how we did it, we, there is a river biome where the glass is, and in the night, or now also in the day, uh, they spawn in the water, because it's a flowing water that falls down, they just fall down here, and then pathfind into a water because uh, down there they are on like dry land, they need to go in water, so they pathfind to this water down here, to the water stream, oh. and down there uh, we kill them with floating. So at the spawn, if you go inside the building, uh, there are map arts, or there are maps uh, of all the farms we have done so far, I believe, and all the structures we did. So if you want to have a look, you can go there. Uh, yeah, I'm stuck in a cup up. I don't know what the cure is. So inside of the buildings, there is, yeah, they should, all should have signs. So Unfortunately, uh, last the tour, when Oak right. was here, there was yeah. Zombie yeah. Bob, uh, he, right here, old guy. Uh, there was Zombie Bob, but he's lost. So, yeah. That's not a baby shark. Yeah, that's not a baby shark. Not. If that's a baby shark, then what's the adult looking like? Yeah, so both of those are witch farms. Uh, I think, oh yeah, this has a bitch farm down here, I believe. Does anyone use um, spawner I'm... farms on Java? No, no we don't. Oh. <laughs> this is not Reddit. The map art is just insane here. That is that is one of my favorite, that's why I keep coming back. It's the map art. Yeah. <laughs> the map Java is a bit easier. Because we have Lidomatica, so we don't need to copy it from another instance of the game. Just have the Lidomatic, the Schematic. Oh, stupid shadow. I don't know how to go into third person here. Okay, I'm taking the pic the picture now. There you go. And I posted in like... I'm gonna DM it to Ive, I guess. Yeah, but like most of all, thanks yeah. for um, thanks for the tour. That was really interesting. Yeah, thank you too. Yeah, really big thanks. That was uh, that was amazing. Yeah. Uh, yeah, thank you for the tour. Subscribe to David Nexus. <laughs> Come on. Oh no.